Um, you know, there's been a lot of uh, attention given to officers and how many officers are injured every year, um, whether it be from a, a gun or, or some other weapon. You know, we, we felt that it was very important to address that situation because up until this point, without the CLER funds, we would not be able to have been able to afford to purchase these. Uh, several thousand dollars worth of emergency medical packs for these officers. Officers were trained on how to use these tourniquets, how to use the quick clot that's in these medic packs to stop bleeding. Um, it was addressed uh, more so as basically an officer is in a fight. He is been active. He is actively dealing with a with a suspect and has been injured. Um, how he can address himself, how he can address an injury on himself, or address an injury on a fellow officer while they're on the scene together. These emergency medic packs were, um, are, are going to be vital in, in if a, a situation arises where an officer is injured. Yeah. These medic packs came about by uh, one of our police officers, Rich McCall. He did a couple of uh, private security tours over in Afghanistan and he realized over there that these military officers were carrying a small medic pack with them all the time for the sheer fact of what happens if. What happens if they are injured? What happens if they need to administer first aid? So he brought that knowledge to us and said, hey, let's look at something that the officers can carry with them all the time. Not in the car, not in their bag, something on them. Because if an officer is in a firefight or does have, you know, is shot at, He's not going to have time to go back to his car. He's going to need something on him to administer that first aid to himself or to a fellow officer. These are another step to give the officer the tools to survive.